Oh yeah, chillin' with Cav. All right, so here's my first time growing chestnut mushrooms. Never had these before, but we're gonna make a mushroom pasta. So I'm gonna trim these off and then we'll come right back and let you see what they look like. All right, so trimming the mushrooms off the block. I think these went a little too long, but they'll still be good. Okay, so we got all the mushrooms chopped. I don't know how many pounds that is, but they're gonna shrink. And I'm going to melt half a stick of butter here. Just gonna melt half a stick of butter and then we've got a red onion, half a red onion, that I'm going to saute into this butter. And then we're gonna throw the mushrooms in. So when this melts, I'll be back, show you the rest of the process. Okay, so we're gonna add our red onion into the butter. And we're gonna saute this onion down. Now I'm doing this in a wok because I want everything to pull into the bottom so when I toss in my noodles, I can get underneath there and uh, stir the sauce all around. It makes it, to me, it makes it easier to move everything and incorporate it with something deep like this. So I'm gonna saute this down and then I'll be back to add in the mushrooms. Okay, so I've been sauteing these onions down and I'm gonna go ahead and add the mushrooms in. Turn up my heat here. And I'm gonna cook these until I get some color on the mushrooms, which is probably gonna be hard to tell since they're already this brown color, but they should uh, shrink up and start to brown. And once this cooks down, we'll move on to the next step, but you really wanna cook this until you get some color browning on the mushroom. So I'm gonna continue to around this and I'll be back in just a minute when this looks good okay so this is cooked down a lot as you can see if I don't spill it everywhere and what I like to do is uh, I cook some of this moisture down when you first start it's dry until those mushrooms start releasing all of the moisture so if if you're starting to, to burn your onions that are in here Hit it with a little chicken broth. Keep working it until the mushrooms start releasing the moisture. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of chicken broth, but <clears throat> it's good that you uh, don't burn anything because nobody likes the taste of burnt food. So after it starts breaking down, you'll get this uh, slurry of mushroom juices in here. And I like to cook most of that out. Around this stage, I like to go ahead and throw in about a tablespoon of minced garlic. <clears throat> now you don't want to put your garlic in early because it will burn. So once it gets cooked down to this, add about one tablespoon of minced garlic. And I'm going to continue to cook this until some of this moisture is cooked out of this. We don't want it too wet here but we want the flavor of that garlic to get into all of these mushrooms. I don't add any salt because we're gonna be adding in some cheese, some Parmesan and Romano cheese, and that's gonna be salty as it is. So I don't, I don't put any salt in here. I'll add after I put in the cheese if I need it, but if you add too much salt here now and you add the cheese, you can't take the salt back out. So go easy on, on the seasoning. Uh, if you want at this point, you can also add a little bit of black pepper and continue to cook that until the moisture is out. And I'll be back in just a second. 
Okay, so this has been cooking down for a little while. As you can see, it's not as wet as what it was. So, at this point, you want to be careful you don't burn the bottom. You might want to turn your heat down on your stove or keep it moving. Now, if you haven't already, you might want to go ahead and start boiling your pasta. Uh, fettuccine is good. Whatever pasta you like is really it's up to you. Go ahead and get your pasta going because we're going to be adding this in in just a little bit. So once you've cooked all the moisture down to what's, where it's not really uh, a lot of liquid in the bottom of your, your skillet or your wok, turn your heat down and we're going to add heavy whipping cream. Now, there's no actual measurement as to how much you need to use. You just go by eye. Well, I can't get the lid off, so hold on one second while I find something to unscrew this and I'll be right back. All right, success. We got the, the screw off lid. All right, so heavy whipping cream. Now it all depends how you like your, your pasta. Do you want it? Do you want a lot of a lot of sauce? If so, add more cream. Now this is going to thicken up. Um, so keep your eye on it. You don't want to walk away for too long. Make sure your heat is low and get your Parmesan Romano. Whatever cheese, if you want to buy the fancy kind, that's fine. Um, it's up to you. Do you. It'll turn out great. So I put one cup of cheese in here. I mean, who, who doesn't like cheese? Now, going back to judging, if it looks like it's too thick, add some more cream. Get all this mixed in. Turn my heat back up here since it's now cold. If you uh, if you don't want to have a lot of cream, you can or it's thickening up too much. Uh, you can cut it down with a little bit of chicken broth. You know, if it if you like more of a, a thinner sauce. Use a little chicken broth. Use your own judgment how you like it. So we're gonna cook this, get all that cheese incorporated and melt it down. Then I'll come back, we'll add the pasta and then we'll serve it up. And this is the first time that we're gonna be eating chestnut mushrooms. I fried some up earlier, a little sauteed. And they are definitely a great mushroom. The texture is not chewy, but it has like a crisp bite or crunch i don't know i don't not necessarily a crunch it's more like a snap but it doesn't it's not chewy um i'm curious to see how they're going to taste in this which anything in this is going to taste great you could probably cook a piece of shoe leather in this and it's going to be wonderful so let me finish getting all this cheese melted and incorporated i'll come back when we add the pasta and plate it up Okay, so this has been cooking for a little bit. I've adjusted, you know, the consistency with a little bit of chicken broth. Now is the time right here is to, you know, do your taste test. Mmm. So good. Um, add, if you need salt, add a little bit of salt. If you want some other seasonings to put in here i tell you what what's really good is if you had uh, uh if you want to put some spinach in here or um uh, a good seasoning is some sage uh, a little bit of sage in in here 
step it up a notch. Um, I am going to add chicken into here. If you've never used, uh, if you've never heard of a restaurant called The Melting Pot, it's a fondue restaurant. We used to have one around my area, but they closed down. But one of the, one of the best things that they make is this garlic and wine seasoning. Uh, good stuff, it's good little sprinkle in your salad. Uh, if you saute some squash or zucchini, it's good to season it with that. It's fantastic, you can get it on Amazon. It's like six bucks a jar or a bottle. What I did was I took some, some chicken breasts and I put it in a Ziploc bag with a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle this in there, mix it around on the chicken breast, let it sit overnight to marinate, and then, you know, put it on the grill. I'm gonna chop up some more. I got another chicken breast over there. Chop that chicken breast up, put it in here. You have chicken and mushroom pasta. It's gonna be phenomenal. So as you can see, I don't have it too thick. I don't, it's gonna thicken up as it cools down. So I like to leave mine just a little bit on the runnier side. Cause when you put that pasta in and it starts to, to cool down, it will thicken up. But right now, this is the time that you need to taste, add whatever ingredients to it that you need, salt, pepper, whatever you like. I put a little bit of sage in mine off camera and I'm gonna cut up this chicken breast. I'm gonna throw it in here and then we will plate it up. Stay tuned. Okay, in goes our chicken. And our pasta. Now, you just have to add your pasta by eye. I like to add just a little bit, stir it around. My family loves this stuff, so a whole bag of pasta will go in here if I have enough room and enough sauce here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can we can do we can do all of it. We can do all the pasta. So as you can see, you might want to start out with a with a large pot. You don't want to do this in a little a little saute pan like this because by the time you get towards the end, you're gonna run out of room. So I got my my heat turned down. You don't wanna you don't wanna burn the bottom. And you wanna mix all that pasta into the sauce. And this is why I like a wok or something where everything can get to the bottom because I know right there in the middle is all the sauce. So I can turn the pasta down towards the middle or turn the middle out to incorporate all of the sauce and mushrooms. So let me, let me get y'all a little close up here. Y'all can see how good this looks. Chestnut and chicken pasta. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna make myself a bowl. All right, so as you see, it's thickening up already. I'm gonna get some of this. Make sure. And the phone rings. A little bit of mushroom, chicken. Gotta get underneath the light here. Let me try it. Grab a fork. All 
All right, first thing, the mushroom. Just the mushroom. Fantastic. Mushroom is, I, I guess the only way I can describe it is like a, a clean, um, clean, crisp bite, not chewy. With uh, it, it has a, a, a sweet, sweet taste, a very mild, sweet flavor. Sauce is absolutely out of this world. Here's a bigger mushroom. Try this one. It's fantastic. It, it's almost like a like the uh, the crunch of like a vegetable. Like a, a man, it's hard to describe, but it's fantastic. It's I think this is one of the most pleasing textures of all the mushrooms I've ate. Now, if you don't have if you don't have any of these particular mushrooms, these chestnut mushrooms, you could use whatever mushrooms you have. You can go down to the grocery store, get some portobello mushrooms or, you know, the white button mushrooms. Do the same thing. Mm. Chicken is good too. Is it weird for me to say that I actually like the mushrooms better than I do the chicken? Fantastic. Very easy to make. You know, a few ingredients, a little bit of time, and you know, this will feed a lot. Try it out. Let me know in the comments if you cooked it. You tell me what you think about it. You don't have to follow this exactly. I give you the basics. You know, your world is your oyster. Do whatever you want. Do you, but I'm telling you, fantastic. Until next time, take care.